So our recovery truck we've had for a while has pretty much died and basically because we never used it so much, we didn't really use it that much, it probably got used once a month maybe, um, I've, we thought rather than leave it parked around the back for months on end, we'll get something more like a pickup truck and that's what I bought. This is a 19, no it's not, it's a 2001 Ford Ranger. Um, it's a double cab one as well, um, really low mileage. I've looked at the history and I'm pretty happy it's genuine. Uh, what's it, 67,000 miles I think it is. Yeah, 67,000 miles. Um, and the interior kind of looks that way as well. Uh, obviously, the idea is in the back here we'll put some, uh, we'll put tow ropes, uh, solid bar, uh, maybe a compressor if we need to change tyres at the side of the road, and some basic tools. And if we need to recover anyone in, obviously we've got back doors with back seats. Um, it's a good thing we've got smell of vision because it does smell a bit in here, which obviously we will need to clean up. Um, it's got plenty of power, so it'd be good for towing. We're only going to do local stuff anyway. Um, what I'll do. Before I get any further into this, I am happy with the price I paid for this, but I did kind of suspect there'd be issues. I didn't think the issues would be quite what they are though. So, right now that I've put the ramp up in the air, let me show you what I found. Uh, now I got very suspicious originally with this car because the, the advert, he had a few cars up for sale and the number plate was blanked out on this one but none of the others so instantly that's a bit suspicious so i messaged the guy he gave me the registration number so i could do a mot check as just advisory on corrosion to the sills didn't really think too much of it um but on further inspection if i just grab a light now these two pipes here that are disconnected are brake pipes and so are these two here. Now, interestingly, they obviously won't meet up. There's way too big a gap between them, which I'm still not entirely sure why. If we follow the brake lines to the rear, the scope will work backwards. So this is where your brakes go into, into the brake drums. And another one on the other side. And there's a T piece here, goes into a hose. Now, if we look where the hose goes, it goes nowhere. Um, very strange. I have absolutely no clue why why that would have all been removed. Um, I can only think there's a problem with the brakes, so I'm going to take the wheels off and have a look, see um, what I can see in there. Uh, I had a look at the front and what they've done, I figured the, the brakes work, they're not leaking fluid, really strange. So I undid the bonnet and um, what they've done is there's two outlets from the brake cylinder and they've just looped them, looped them together. Um, so I did wonder this morning, I took it for, just drove it around the estate this morning and the, um, the brakes, they worked, it didn't work very well but they worked and um, yeah. Always got to be very careful buying used cars, but that's what you get for buying on eBay, I suppose. Um, so I'll whip the drums off and we'll see what we can find. So the story gets stranger. I've just taken the brake drums off. Now, brake drums are all in pretty good nick. Quite happy with them. They don't even look that old. Uh, and nor do the brakes. The brakes look pretty much brand new. So I am, um, I'll say they're brand new. That looked like, had a bit of a leak. Oh yeah, that wheel cylinder's leaking. So rather than replace the wheel cylinders, the previous owner has just bypassed the brakes altogether, um, which is ridiculous and pretty much dangerous. Uh, I have sent him a message on eBay, um, basically asking if he knew anything about it. That one's fine. It's just the one wheel cylinder. So. Um, yeah, all I've got to do then is uh, got to join up. You can see from here, not really. I've got to join that to, I think it's up there that it joins onto. 
and uh, make a new pipe there for the front and then uh, at least that makes it safe. Uh, so we've done the brake pipes up here after a faff because they wouldn't stop leaking and we've also found another leak from here which uh, I've already put a pipe on there but I think there's a problem with this pipe here so it'll be a lot easier if I just decided to replace all the brake lines which when we've got time I will but the we found out the reason I think why they just bypassed all of this uh, so all of these are in that leaks not too bad so I figured I'll just try and bleed the brakes make sure everything's all right I cannot get any fluid to come out of this load sensing valve and uh, I've just had a phone our suppliers had a price for a new one. Uh, 575 pounds so I'm gonna pull that off see if I can fix it and if not uh, then I've got another 575 pounds to spend Right, so I've just given the truck a wash. It is now outside and doesn't look too bad. Um, there's a few scratches in the panel work that we'll have to sort out. And obviously, I said the back door is seen better days. Oh, that bird's pooed on it. That's annoying. Oh well. Um, so yeah, the I've left the brakes for the minute. I have actually managed to order a the, the valve load sensing valve was totally blocked. Um, couldn't free it up, so I've ordered a new one. It didn't cost me 575, whatever it was. I managed to get it off for 180, which is still quite a lot of money. But at least we get a truck on the road and it'll tow nicely when we're recovering. So next thing for me to do is to service it and so when the load sensing valve comes I'll get that fitted, get all the brake pipes done, fix all the leaks and then I can get it back on the road. Um, I've got a few ideas for upgrades. I have bought some clear lenses to modernise it a bit. That is a very early 90s look. Uh, change the side repeaters, things like that. I found some bigger alloys I want to get. Uh, these tyres are pretty knackered. I don't know if you can see there's many, many cracks in them. There's some big ones there. Uh, so I don't really want to do too many miles on these tyres without changing them. found some good tyres that I want. And I might lower it a bit because we're not going to be doing any off-roading or anything. We don't need all the ground clearance. And if we do end up picking anyone up, then it'll be a bit nicer, a bit easier for them to get in and out of, especially anyone who's elderly. So uh, that's it for this video. Um, so I will do more updates with the lowering and show how we do it. Uh, I might do some poly bushes on it as well. I know the rear suspension bushes are a bit knackered. Um, but then again, it is a 19-year-old truck. So we'll see how we go. And I'll see you on the next video.